All right, all right, all right. We are back with Diamond in the Rough. And up here in the top left, it is the hero of the hour. He who always seeks to do things a little bit different. That's rough. One of the most creative Terran players in the world. And uh, maybe not really competing with the pros so much these days, but still streaming, still playing at a Grandmaster level, and still kicking butts every day. Opening our eyes to the power of a lot of the strategies that a lot of us thought, no, that doesn't work. And it shows us, yeah, 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 you can make it work. <laughs> there is always a way. There's a opponent in the bottom right from a clan, which I associate with people cheesing the crap out of me. These guys, I don't know what that stands for, sanus or whatever it is, but this is panic. There's a few dudes with that tag who I associate with some cheesy build orders. And speaking of which, that is a pylon at home, but another pylon on the other side of the map. And it looks like, yeah, a proxy two gate. Now, there was actually a chrono probe. So this is gateways are both on 17 going down. So it's 17 double gate into a gas. So we're seeing some sort of advanced probe. It's going to be like two gate, not just zealots, but like stalkers or adepts are going to come in behind this, something like that. The probe does come in and. Ruff is not scouted at all. Ruff hates scouting. This is one Rex expand build. We've seen him do this into his uh, mass uh, Hellion ghost play sometimes against Protoss, as well as a few different build orders, but it's a much more economic startup for him than normal. I'm just hoping he takes some safety precautions because he's got no gas. He can't make tanks. He can't make Reapers or anything. So I'm hoping he builds a very quick bunker. Otherwise, he is in trouble. And it makes sense to do that. If you're not scouting at all, you've got to play super safe. But there's already a Zealot on the way, and that's going to get out way before that bunker's ready. Now, there's two Marines building. A gas does start. Ruff does need to start that second deeper. or he'll get Supply Book. The Pro being a bit annoying there, already getting a bit of damage on that SCV. That SCV is now two hits from death from a Zealot. Here we go, Zealots here. Watch out, Ruff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, angry, angry Zealot chasing after that Marine. The Marines to stand and fight. SCV shuffles off. Nice micro by Ruff so far. Oh, he goes back on though, and it's going to go down. Nice micro by Panic. Focusing that one down. The Marines trying to do what they can. Meanwhile, this douchebag probe is building a pile on there. Hops off the commands and it tells that to finish the bunker. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Because the Zealot deep in the red has to retreat. And with the bunker finish, that Zealot turns around and dies. This Zealot is still up. Shield battery is going to go down and a Stalker does start. Two Stalkers, in fact. All right. It's actually going two gases as well. So Panic here trying to get a forward position, but it's actually got a decent economy. 24 pros versus 19 SCVs, of course, with the commands and a finishing. Ruff is way ahead in that department. But Ruff here under pressure goes for an engineering bait and two more barracks. He feels like he's under so much pressure that he has to defend with just bio right now. And I don't know, man. I, 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 more stuff is good. More stuff equals... You know, beating less stuff. I, I think this definitely can work out. Oh, but he loses a Marine there to a Stalker. He's got to be careful. He's making an Orbital. As long as he keeps up SCVs and Mules during this, he'll be okay. He's going to make a Ghost Academy. That's much more of a rough move. I like that. I'm just not sure if he's going to be as good with Bioplay. Um, it's going to be hard to make a Mech Transition off three racks. We'll see how it goes. The Barracks. Oh, good repair. But the Zealot goes down. But another SCV falls. That's two SCVs in total. And look at this absolute mad lad. Panic builds a Stargate outside the Terran base. The D-Bag is just building tons of shield batteries right now. Now, what would be really cool, though? Okay, Ruff's got the bunker. He's got the repair. He's building more marines, which is good. If he can get a ghost or two out, he can actually EMP the shield batteries. And they're so clumped. He could probably get three or four shield batteries with a single EMP, which would actually be super duper cool. It's one of those moves that's like, this is not something you see very often. Occasionally, when you rush, if you do like some sneaky proxy ghost rush, you'll run in. And if they have a shield battery, EMP it, because otherwise it heals the probes, right? And, and that can help you out a little bit. Um... Okay, how many SCVs have we lost? Three so far. The first ghost is going to pop, but it's not really going to massively change things. For now, it's it's the Stalkers trying to focus down the SCVs is where the real damage is coming from. And once the Void Rays are here, they're going to be able to kill bunkers really fast. Oh, Panic with good focus fire. Keeps taking down these SCVs, trying to build the extra bunkers. Nice! That's the EMP I was talking about. Oh, there's no energy left. All the energy gone on every single shield battery. And uh, yeah, the bunker actually kills a couple of Zealots there. So far, four Zealots have died. Five SCVs, one Marine. A second bunker's on the way. But once again, the Stalkers are going to focus that down. And this is a problem for Ruff, whose production has kind of halted a little bit. He's not building more Marines right now. He's going to lose that bunker. It dies. He desperately needs more bunkers or he's in danger of dying. I like this. This time he builds the back one square. So they're more covered by the bunker. Still no Nexus behind this, though. Panic's clearly thinking about it. I think realizing it's going to be hard to bust on through. The Void Ray comes forward. The SCVs with a nice bit of repairs. Clicking on the building bunker. Does kill it. No cancel there for Ruff. 
and Ruff's firepower just isn't quite there. He's only got seven Marines and one Ghost right now. Another SCV building a bunker does go down. Ruff, though, puts another SCV on it. Second Void Ray's about to pop. Dude, this is, this is actually getting really dicey right now because Ruff doesn't have add-ons on those. He's getting two more Marines building. But yeah, he's so low on gas. He's trying to just get out another Ghost right now. He's got a factory finish, but nothing else with it. And oh my god, again, it looks like all the energy is gone on these, uh, on these shield batteries. So this Ghost about to have another EMP. There's a Ghost about to pop as well. There's only really these two shield batteries in the back that still have juice, but behind this, the Nexus is on the way and the Twilight Council. So as long as Panic keeps on building probes, Panic can still cause problems. And actually, if Panic moved that with his Void Rays up on the high ground, probably could get the depots and the tech lab. So thankfully, Ruff keeping him occupied down here on the low ground. The Void Rays, oh, they kill that turret as well. Ruff has lost so much money to structures that haven't been cancelled. Two bunkers and a turret, none of which were cancelled. But uh, two Stalkers, five Zealots have fallen as well. Another Void Ray does come out. Probes are building, but only a few at a time. This is still... A panic is not swapped off the aggression just yet. No, no. Whoa! Triple Prismatic Alignment! Mass Repair! Go, go, go! EMP on the Void Rays, but the Shield Batteries do heal them back up. The Shield Battery is very low on juice once again. And oh my god, that's right. She crouches down and calls in a nuke the Void Rays and the Stalkers. Are they going to go for it? They're going to dive! They dive on the Ghost and they manage to cancel the nuke. One of the Void Rays almost dies for that, but the Shield Battery is just enough energy to hold on. That would have been the coolest way to break this contain ever. But unfortunately, it gets sniped down. Ruff immediately just casually queues up another nuke. And he's he's on 28 SCVs versus 31 probes. So he's, he's okay economically. But what's the next step? He's going combat shields. I'd love to see him squeeze a reactor out in a starport. Because if he can get some medevacs out, get stim as well. These marines are going to scale really well versus void rays. I mean, void rays seem like a really cool unit. But they just don't scale into the latter stages of the game. So panic, I think really had an opportunity here to like take a third base and make i mean charge is on the way charge a robo right but, but like to get an upgrade or two with a forge get a gateways and transition but staying this heavily on void rays could be a mistake panic's gonna go in once again but lots of marines threaten this time panic i don't think okay is panic gonna go for if, if you gotta go for it you gotta go for it now too late too late okay panic's gonna give this one up and that is one way to clear a shield battery contain a big nuke blasts through so many of those shield batteries out the front of the base there's two left the pylon's almost down as well and it's just a bunch of void rays and stalkers i mean right now that's a lot of marines for rough I don't think Ruff should expose himself to fighting this. I think if he gets stim, there's no escape for Panic. Oh, he's going to try and get him, but oh, I think this might be a bit overzealous. He does get a few Void Rays down. Okay. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, it's worth it. Loses a few Marines, gets a Void Ray or two. Does get rid of this contain completely. And finally now, Ruff says, okay, let's finish up fixing my economy. Takes two gases. He's going to build a few more marines out here. He's going to start the starport, the reactor. That's what we've been hoping for for a while. Stim's on the way. Plus one on that engineering bay is coming down as well. Panic, though, coming across with more zealots. Doesn't want to give up this forward gate position. Is up on two full bases, mining the gateways slowly, steadily coming down. Which brings us up to six gateways. As long as these gateways are up, that's pretty decent production. But this is a significant portion of the production right there. If Ruff goes and kills that, he'd be in a spectacular position. But he actually never scouted it. This is the furthest he's been on this map this game. He has been just locked in his base. So it looks like so far, I think one ghost died this game. Only one. So he's only got one ghost still out on the map. He's going to take out that probe that's spotting out there. Now is Panic going to counterattack? Maybe? Uh-oh, this could get real dicey right now. Panic seems to miss the Terran moving across the map. He's going to catch him now, but doesn't really want to fight into that. And this is going to get real weird really fast. Okay. So Ruff, he goes across the map. His stim's not quite ready. He needs 10 more seconds. He's going to try and fight out in the open. EMP on the Void Ray is not a bad move. Knocks 100 shields off both of those. A Stalker goes down as well. Those Zealots, of course, taking a lot of damage. More Zealots warping in at home. He's got a Templar Archives. He might try and make some Archons. He's supply blocked right now, though, is Panic. And his army, though, way out of position. He doesn't realize that Ruff is actually diving in. The Ghost does get surrounded by those three Zealots and goes down. But the Marines are up on the Worker Count. And, oh, that's a lot of probes. That's a lot of probes going down. Okay, he tries to rush on up the ramp. He's going to move up here. Actually, he's going to stand and just fight on the ramp. The Zealots with limited service area, but the Void Rays, the Stalker's doing well. And a Zealot flank on the other side. Oh, the Guardian Shield really doing work. Nicely done does go for the prism doesn't quite get it and in the end a pretty good hold from panic who yes lost a lot of probes but can recover that rough does not have a third command center and 
now we're in a scary point because Ruff's playing Bio versus a player who has Charge. I mean, Charge isn't the most amazing thing, but there's Archons as well. Charge plus Archons is a solid fighting unit composition, and Ruff is stuck on Bio. Now, he's got three engineering bays. He's built two to help wall off his base because he's worried about dying. That's actually really important. Two bunkers plus a Widowmine should keep him safe. Usually, when you see a Protoss playing Zealot Archon, it means that they want to try and kill you right away because that is not a long-term unit composition. It's just very fast, high-damage units that can just jump on your shit and kind of catch you off guard. So, Ruff builds this big, thick wall. Says, no, 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 I'm not going out like that. He's got plus one armor on the way. He's building an armor. He's got five barracks building right now. But he's going almost pure marine with just a ghost or two mixed in there. Doesn't even have add-ons on the fourth and fifth barracks. No third command center yet. So Ruff is not really taking the economic lead. So even though he wounded Panic very much earlier, Panic's now going to do some damage with a zealot drop. Don't fly to the turret. Okay, nice. Panic does pull back there. And Ruff's way out of position. He just had to drop across the map, but he's got almost no units. The Zealots are tearing up his base. They're killing so much right now. Oh, no. Okay, EMP them, maybe? Uh, he does not want to lose these Ghosts and Marines. At the same time, Archons come in the front. Oh, okay. Good mass repair, plus the missile turret does manage to scare him away. Barely keeps the Ghost alive in the main base. I mean, Ruff's hanging on just by a fingernail right now. He's banking so hard on this drop. And you know what? Oh, recall's ready. And there's plenty of units out there. If he just recalls those units quickly, I think Panic will be fine, but has he noticed it? Has he noticed it? His army's out of the map. I don't think he's noticed these guys coming in. Okay, he does pull the probes away now, but oh, look at that. No plus one upgrade for you, says I'm going to take a 1-1 one, one upgrade advantage. Get out of here, Protoss player. Gets the Templar Archives as well. Can he get out? Void Rays do a lot of damage. Oh, good smooth pickup by Ruff. Leaves only one Marine behind. That could have been a lot worse. Ruff survives a very dangerous part in this game and does some really important damage to slow down his opponent's tech. Uh, his opponent is building a Stargate right now. So this Protoss player, uh, his intelligence may be three. It might be three IQ. Why would you build a Stargate now? <laughs> what is that for? <gasps> Why would you build a Stargate here? I have no idea. Maybe there was a misclick? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not sure. I, I think you've already got these Voideries, which have actually given you pretty good value in the early game, but they're not going to scale well. The Zealot Archon, nice cleanup. No probes went down there, man. The, the first part of the drop was good, but he needed to wait till the Protoss was back on the other side of the map before going in again. And now Protoss is up on three base, building probes three at a time. Ruff is still locked in on two bases right now. He hasn't. He's lost so many workers. He's a bit oversaturated in the natural, undersaturated in the main. He's got a lot of gas, but he's building mostly Marines, which are very mineral-heavy units. And oh no, a DT Shrine goes down as well. Panic building all of the dirty units. I still don't know what the hell this Stargate is supposed to be for. He's building an Oracle? What nonsense is that? Is that... Is that just to set up stasis traps? Like, is it just like, hey, stasis trap is kind of gimmicky. I'm, I am a gimmick player. <laughs> Why is there a mid-game Oracle being added in? I have no idea. Scanning to get rid of any observers out there. Uh, there is only one observer, though. It's just popped out at home. Still a good Archon Zealot army. It can beat this army of Marines, I think. Of course, Ghosts do counter the shit out of Archons, and they're pretty good versus Zealots as well. They can knock off one-third of the Zealots' effective hit points and 95% of an Archon's effective hit points. Archons are 360 shields and uh, hit points combined. Oh, drops a ghost on the high ground. It gets a sneaky EMP. Sentries lose all their energy. Archons, Void Rays get hit as well. He's got another ghost uh, EMP in there as well. Does this one hit? Can he get a big one? Can he get a big one? Oh, he does get the Zealots. The Archons, though, are still very healthy. Their splash damage doing very well. Oh, Ruff's losing a lot of Marines. He does kill a lot of these Archons. If you get the Sentries as well, that would be huge, but he's going for the Void Rays. He gets one Void Ray and another Void Ray, and you know what? Okay, he's going to boost those medevacs out of there as well. Okay, oh, wait, it's a trade. He kills a lot of the valuable units of Panic. Okay, Panic's going to go into DTs from here. Ghosts can EMP DTs to reveal them, remember. But Ruff's going to need to really have his glasses on if he does that, if he wants to pull that off. He's down about 20 workers, so it's very important for him to do something to slow down the mining at this third base. The Oracle indeed is just putting down random stasis traps. So Panic here, uh, DTs in the army. I think we're definitely getting the impression that, that Panic is uh, a bit of an F2 Protoss player. Immortals on the way. And why are we building Stargates at a fleet beacon? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this guy doing? Why is he going Colossus? Oh my god. Air attack upgrades as well. Oh my god. I mean, this was an amazing hold at the start of this game. I think Ruff may be playing an Incan Poop though in the, in the final stage. I mean, Ruff's... <laughs> 
doing a good fire ghost push. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I've got a justice bow to just like everybody else watching right now. When you see a player who does a rush like that gets shut down like this, it makes me very happy. Uh, uh, two one upgrades kicking in just there for the plus two attack. Annihilates the probes. Oh, MP, MP, MP. Rough, rough, rough. Okay, just drops the scan. Good enough. Takes out those last DTs, and I think that's going to be it. At the same time, DTs did hit his third base behind it, but he actually manages to... <laughs> Ruff's bio play a little rusty, I'll admit, in some of the more solid regards, but the opening was incredible. The ghost usage throughout was spectacular. GG, well played, Ruff. Beautiful justice this game.